Hi, my name is Zach, and would like to show you fellow DJs my app called Autodex, which will help you mix music easily. Using this app, you're not only able to mix your music using multiple tracks, but you're also able to mix your music library. And I'm going to show you the things you have requested for in the forum. But before we get to that, let's try to start the application first. Double click on the index e file, and you should see a welcome message. Click OK to skip that. And here's our fancy interface. But wait a second, where are all the buttons like the play and stop buttons? And here comes our Opto Dex 101. Question 1. Where's the auto audio player? Well, it turns out that to add a player or each chord track, in this top half panel, click on this plus button. And here's our first track. Question 2. How to load audio files into it? Well, there are two ways to do that. The more straightforward way is to drag and drop the audio file into the track directly. Waveform display loads indicating successful loading. For the another way, as we have to make, sure, make use of the below music library component, we will talk about it later in this video. Just leave it to be a cliffhanger right now, okay? Question 3. Now, how can I play two or more tracks? Click on the plus button and you can add up to a maximum of 5 tracks. And of course, you can shoot close each track by clicking the delete track button on the top right hand corner. Load in music for these two tracks by dragging. And here you go. You are now able to mix the tracks. Cool, huh? Question 4. How to mix the tracks by varying each of the, their volumes? On each track, there is a circular slider to control its volume. 0 means silence and 1 means loudest possible. Question 5. How to speed up and slow down the tracks? Again, there is a slider for the speed as well. And the value is indeed the speed multiplier. Normal speed is 1, and below that is slower than normal while 0 is pulse. And the faster speed is 10 times faster than normal. That's me too fast, right? And finally, of course, the position slider to control the current playhead. And so, for basic function functionalities, there's, that's pretty much it. And let's talk about the more advanced that control. Some people post in forums saying that we should have the custom graphics and yeah, we have all these buttons. They, have, they are all drum pipe halves, which are not default stops. You can of course control the playback by playing, pausing and all stopping using these three buttons. But also you are able to check, check the looping box to allow playing playback looping. Well, let's try that. First, you play the music and then you drag the position to nearly the end. And bam, the music loops back to the start. One of the most amazing features of this app is custom music library built in the app. You can add in audio files into your library by clicking load and save button and then select multiple audio files to add. The table below will be updated. Besides loading into the library, it saves the audio files through path to a data file right next to the executable. Besides adding audio files, you can also delete any of the audio files from the music library by simply typing the delete key on your keyboard. Click OK and the row disappears and look back at the data file, the path to the audio file is gone as well. The music library allows the user to search for files using the search text box. Simply input the keyword and it will search by song name and display the search results on typing. Remember, we have talked about the cliffhanger earlier in this video. Once they are successfully loaded into the table, table, click on the play button on the song row. And there you go, the second way to load audio files into the deck, making use of the library. One of the most brilliant ideas in the forum is, can the music library persist so that it is restored when the user exists and restarts the application? And so we have done that. Simply exit and restart the application, and the application will try to restore all the file paths using the data file. And there you go. That's the same state of the music library way before you left the application. And that's pretty much for this video. If you'd like to see more of my amazing applications, please join my Patreon to support. Please leave a like and don't forget to share this video and subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much for watching for this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good day. Bye guys.